Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, after yesterday not having really many news to talk about, there was just one that it was really important. But, uh, we we are going to talk about it today, and we have other that I have seen today. So, without more delay, let's start. <laughs> Okay, guys, so, well, I uh, don't know how to talk about this topic. Um, well, do you know who he is, right? And Sufati, of course. His agent, Jorge Mendes, has offered him to Manchester City. And I don't think this is a fake news as other ones, okay? It makes sen some sense. Let's analyze this. Ansu Fati has contract with Barcelona, that's right, but as uh, he's at the same stage of Pedri, so both of them finished their contract with Barcelona on, third, on June 30th. So both of them, well Barcelona uh, has started to make some conversations and, well I'm not that sure, but they have started analyzing the, the situation of both players, actually with Pedri I remember there is something already, but both uh, Barcelona expects in these weeks, in the next weeks, to to reach an agreement with both players. But and knowing the economical situation, so it's normal to to think that we uh, to to think that they are not going to be able to give them much more money than what they are receiving. Uh, even though we did that, those numbers long time ago explaining how much money they could get, right? But well, um, anyway, the point here is that in this moment, uh, Jorge Mendes to pressure Barcelona and also to find a better club or a better economical situation, because better club is difficult. But a better economical situation that's much easier. So they, they, uh, he offered him to Manchester City. Guardiola, of course, he I think he'd be incredibly um, amazed if Ansu Fati arrives at Manchester City. I don't think Guardiola knows Ansu Fati personally. I think they they never met. If they did, is as rivals or maybe someday that Guardiola went to Barcelona and then he met Ansu Fati in any kind of training session or whatever. But of course they know each other. <laughs> no, it's impossible Ansu Fati doesn't know uh, Guardiola, and even though it's impossible Guardiola doesn't know Ansu Fati, that's for sure. No, uh, but I think it's not a fake news because of that because. They are in a, in renewals in our renewed conversations, no? So it's typical to do sometimes these these movements to try to pressure the team that is more interested, no? But anyway, I I don't see Ansu Fati out of Barcelona, but also I'm afraid of seeing Ansu Fati out of Barcelona. I read some weeks ago that Ansu Fati doesn't really think of leaving Barcelona actually. Uh, that's what I read at the, in the headlines of this news, but that's the thing that I, I read about uh, Moriba some weeks ago, or last month, that they said Moriba is just thinking about Barcelona, they are saying the same now about Ansu Fati, Ansu Fati just thinks about Barcelona, and it seems that in, in, in within the club they don't think it's going to happen the same situation, that's true actually. And Sufati really enjoyed, uh, I think he really wants to stay in Barcelona, it was not the same situation as uh, Moriba, that Moriba wanted more money than staying in the club, but you never know really, it's difficult to this topic, but well, I'm a bit afraid. Also, this could be another reason that Ansu Fati will not stay in Barcelona, and this is the new t-shirt for next year. You remember some weeks ago, I was talking uh, about. Oh, some weeks ago, no, some days ago, we were talking about this topic. So yeah, here it is, official. 
not from Barcelona, official from the newspapers. <laughs> they have post, well, sports, that is, as you can see, I got the, the two news. Um, they have post, or they have posted the the t-shirts that probably Barcelona will wear next year. Uh, if you remember, we were saying that Rakuten, oh, if you, I see a mistake, they forgot the line here, <laughs> the white line. Well, um, as you remember last uh, that day I told you I don't I don't like it at all but well we will see but now it's too blue I mean uh, Barcelona has uh, a red color too and it's like they forgot what I really like is the second kit that second kit the, the golden one golden and beige is this similar one that some years ago I think 2005 2006 Ronaldinho wore when he was in Barcelona and also even I think it's the one that Messi did his debut I'm not sure about that I read someone saying that anyway that's a very mythical t-shirt and it's very nice and the second the second one yes it's, it's amazing but the first one no, not at all. Um, also, there is a mistake because probably Rakuten, as we said previous days, probably Rakuten will not stay in Barcelona, will not be the main partner next year, but well, we will see. Talking about other news, I read that some newspapers are really, really interested and are, are calling this the, the duet one of the best duets we can have in La Liga. Well, they based their affirmations in numbers. So when they played together in the PSV, uh, the season 2014-2015, uh, they won the national t the national uh, tournament. I guess the league. And then they scored 52 goals out of 103 goals that P PSV scored. Um, if I read more numbers, I don't. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I read that, for example, that uh, Memphis scored around 28 goals, and Luke de Jong scored 24. Actually, Memphis got the Pichichi, the top scorer of the of the national. A tournament so yeah uh, those numbers are quite good no if they score 52 goals for Barcelona this year that will be amazing but we need more goals right uh, but the half of the goals if they score 52 and we score 100 so it's it's I think they are good numbers no? I think last year we scored even less I think we reached just 80 something goals then remember uh, anyway, I, I have my doubts about Luke de Jong. About Memphis, no. Memphis has done a great season until now, and I hope the best. But about Luke de Jong, I have, I really, really have my doubts. So, well, I hope he shut up my mouth and does the best season he has ever done. Also, let's talk about Dembélé. A long time ago, we don't talk about Dembélé. So it's time to, to talk about him because he's recovering from his injury, that injury that made him go out of the of the Euro Cup and also uh, made him uh, made Barcelona lose the chance to sell him. No? So well it seems that John Laporta wants to renew him. We have talked about this for a long time. Also, we know he, he doesn't really want to reduce his salary, but Barcelona has no other option to do this. They cannot keep paying him the, the amount of money they are doing. So it seems that in this moment, Barcelona is trying is, uh, is getting an, a strategy to do this. So they are offering until 2025, so a contract for four or five or three or four years more. And even though it's going to be less money, they expect that the treatment received by Barcelona and other things help the player to, to stay in Barcelona. 
and they hope also to, to they want to offer him um, like a, 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 an important part or like um, to be more determined how to say that to to have a better role in the team which I think the, uh, Kuman wants that for him too but well we will see two more news the first one or two last news Barcelona is starting to feel worried about the, sell, the sales of the tickets to the Camp Nou it seems that the sources, the people who signed for Barcelona or the, who has rights, better rights to watch footballs because they get discounts because they paid some money every year no? they are not going they are not getting to the camp no actually from the 40,000 tickets that they can sell for, for for watching Bayern Munich people has asked in this moment just 31,213 tickets so it's almost 75% less 75% uh, that means uh, that's weird because somehow it's a bit weird because Bayern is a great team so that means people who or the people is thinking that Barcelona is not that attractive to go to watch it now as before other reason could be the pandemic situation now I think and I understand some people lost their jobs so or they got kind of um, less salary than before so that could explain to you that they don't have money or they want to use that money they have for other more important things let's say like that than just going to watch a match right that they can watch at home or as they do on the internet but well uh, but it's interesting it's weird right because uh, oh, it's weird because or other reasons they are thinking of in that club is because before before the lockdown the players who were playing in Barcelona was Messi, Suarez and Griezmann and that attract many people but now we have Memphis Depay which is a, a good attraction I think but we have Luc de Jong, Bradweight so yeah we don't have that famous player that normally brought Barcelona to, to where, the, where we were right and maybe one of those players could be Dani Olmo the, nation, the international player was actually one of the players from La Masia. A few years ago, he was... Well, no, yeah, I'm repeating the same information, <laughs> sorry. Um, the last day of the market trans, or the transfer market, Barcelona contacted him. And it seems that even though they couldn't finish the, the, the transfer, they couldn't concrete it, they still want him to come and probably in the next window market window they will try to make him come from from the Leipzig if I'm not wrong right yeah Le Leipzig that he's it's where he's playing and he's going to have a new mate from La Masia that it's uh, Moriba right so well we will see uh, Danny Olmo I really like him the times I've seen him playing for the national team I think he did good matches and I I, I, I think could be a, an important player for Barcelona but well we will see well guys so that's all I had to talk to you today let's see if later I have more news <laughs> to talk about and anyway thank you for watching us thank you for everything and see you in the next video have a nice day.